Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show how you can install the Mate um, desktop environment on your Raspberry Pi OS. So this is just plain old Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit flash with the Raspberry Pi imager on my PC, and then I booted it up. Um, so as you see, I mean, it's just normal. All I did was change the background. That's all I did. Um, so to install this, what you have to do is open up a terminal. It can be opened from there, or you can press Control-Alt-T. They both open a terminal. And you're going to type sudo task cell. And you're going to hit enter. And I'm, you're going to go down to mate and hit your space bar. And as you see, there's like a little star now. So that's what we want. And now we're going to hit enter. And it should start installing it for us. As you see, it's retrieving the files. So this does take a while. Um... It's according to your internet connection, actually. So you just have to wait for it. Okay, so when you get to this screen where it says Pi Raspberry and nothing's happening anymore, oh, well, that means you're good and that it's done installing. So you just close up that terminal. Um, so what what you need to do is open up this, um, this thing will be in the description. So just copy that. You can just get it from the video description. And then just paste it in the in the terminal. Hit enter. And uh, where oh right here it says um, mate session. So that we should um, we should choose that one. And look, that's at two for me. So what I'm gonna click. I'm gonna type two in here, and I'm gonna hit enter. And now what I what I'm gonna do is type sudo reboot. So now every time I reboot, it should reboot straight into the mate desktop. And it might be a different number for you, but just find where it says mate and then hit that one, then go sudo reboot and it should work. Okay, so it rebooted into mate. So as you see, this looks like Ubuntu mate like I've reviewed before, um, but it's um, Debian instead of Ubuntu. Um, so I don't really like this background, so I'm going to go to the internet. Oh, look, we have Firefox now and Chromium. I'm just going to go with Chromium, but... You can you guys um, can try Firefox too. Um, so I really like the macOS wallpaper, so I'm gonna type Catalina wallpaper. typed in Catalina Wallpaper 4K. Um, so, I'm just going to go to this website here. Uh, see, this one looks really nice. I'm just going to go download. I'm going to click 4K. And it's saved. Um, so, that's not it. This one. No, no, no. I'm going to go change desktop background. And I'm going to click add. And I think it was in downloads. That one I'm going to click open. So as you see, it looks a lot better now. I like this wallpaper more. Um, so the Pi Home looks like this. It looks nice, but you can always change the look easily. Um, let's, I'll go through the apps. Accessories. We have Raspberry Pi Diagnostics. We have SD card copier. We have LibreOffice. We have GIMP already installed. That's really nice. We have Firefox and Chromium and Delo Office. We have all the LibreOffice apps, Bookshelf. We have Programming System and System Tools. So the terminal is white. So the terminal looks really nice in my opinion. So um, like so I'm just gonna install NeoFetch, which if you don't know. Um, it's a tool that tells you all about your um, system and stuff. So I'll show you. So to install it, is it all it does? sudo opt install neofetch. And then to use it, you just type in neofetch in the terminal and it should work. So in the terminal, all you type is neofetch. And as you see, there's a Raspberry Pi logo right here. The ras And it says what... Um, 
OS it is, what Raspberry Pi model it is, what kernel, what uptime packages, and it shows mate. It says right here, it shows everything. Um, yeah, so um, the terminal works great. Um, this performance is amazing on here. Like, it might even be better than normal Raspberry Pi OS. I don't know, but it could be. So, I totally recommend you guys using this as an operating system. So, you can install every app you do on a um, normal Raspberry Pi OS. Any software, because it, it still is. All it is is the, um, like, distro change. That's all. So, like, I'm going to install Raspberry Pi Imager. Oh, my internet one must have went out. Oh, man. Well, that's fine. Well, yeah, so this is what um, Mate on the Raspberry Pi OS looks like. So, um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, so, I hope you guys try this out. Um, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.